Okay. All of my wrist, count of the spinning, man at the coop, mine with no tennis, chop out the top, hit it in the I got some What's up y'all? Trey be dipping in the building. You know what time it is. So we back in the shop, man. Uh, for those of you who didn't see my last video, um, I did go to the track. Nothing major. It was like a little eighth mile no prep track. But it was going to be my first opportunity to basically run the slicks that I had. But what I found out was that I needed extended studs. So this video is going to be a two for one. If you want to learn how to replace, let's say, a snapped off stud, broken stud, or if you yourself want to also install extended lugs for whatever reason, lug studs, then stay tuned. All right, so there are a couple things that I would recommend. Um, this is wheel stud installer. Um, basically what this is going to do is keep you from stretching or stripping the new studs that you put in whether it be extended or the OEM ones um, This is not 100% necessary um, Some people instead of using this use the actual axle nut So if you don't have access to this, I got this from advanced auto parts. It was like 30 bucks something like that 35 bucks um, I think it's worth it to make sure that you don't waste your time stripping studs out Especially the new ones um, but some people do like I said do use the axle nut uh, I wouldn't recommend it but if you tie it on cash that's another way you can do it um, of course I got my extended lugs um, these will let me these are probably about an inch maybe inch and a half about an inch longer than the OEM ones um, so this will let me run the slicks so um, so basically First thing you gotta do is we gotta get, essentially we gotta get the caliper off and we gotta get the axle nut off and we gotta get the rotor off. So if you're doing this and it's time to do brakes, I would go ahead and plan to do everything because you're gonna have it all apart anyway. For me, my stuff is pretty much good to go. So I'm just gonna be reusing what I have, but it would be a good opportunity to do your brakes and rotors too since you have to take it all off anyway. But with that being said, uh, let's get to it. So now I pretty much got the hub exposed. Uh, the next step you want to take really honestly is getting the old studs out. That's kind of the easy part. Um, I would recommend, um, I mean any hammer should do, but I would get one of those heavy ended hammers uh, that has a lot of weight behind it. That way it'll you know be a little less work. But honestly, I mean any hammer should work, but the heavy hammer would be better for something like this. Um, but yeah, basically I'm gonna go ahead and hammer these studs out one at a time Probably gonna have to hammer it out from this from this one right here and then rotate it and just basically we, either, Which every time I hit one out, it's probably gonna have to be in this spot because that's where the opening is But um, yeah, so let's get to it All right, so essentially, this is actually a pretty good example of why I have to do what I have to do next. You see how on the way out, that one kind of gouged the hub right here, back of the hub. So the reason is because this normally would be pressed out and then you would, you know, basically press it back in. But obviously this is the method where you don't require any pressing and you don't have to take it fully apart. Um, but essentially to avoid getting this one in there without bending or ruining the threads what we're going to do actually is we're going to grind we're going to grind down one side of the stud and just to the point where it's flat and i'm not going to affect any of this but literally just grind down 
this little lip right here so that this grinded down part will essentially go in face down where this gouge is it'll go in a lot smoother so i'm gonna get uh i'm gonna get four of these grinded down real quick and then we'll come back and start installing Now, obviously, I ain't gonna touch it because that joint probably burning. But um, let me see if I can get a little close up. Essentially, all I did was flatten out one side so that that side would be face down. Whoop. On the hub, right where you see that gouge mark, so that it won't gouge going back in, so it won't bend and go in crooked and, you know, no funny business basically. So, once that cools down, we're gonna actually open up this bad boy right here and we're gonna use this and put the stud in and basically thread a lug nut onto the bolt and tighten it down until it's flush in the back <laughs> uh, y'all gonna laugh so I don't know what purpose this little section serves but I can't get the stud in without it bending this piece. So I kind of just cut it and knocked it up out of the way. So <laughs> I don't know if you'll have to do this, but just just a note going moving forward. So like I said, this, this uh, flat edge is gonna go face down towards the hub. And then from there, give it a little tap it tap, you know what I'm saying? Boom. There you go. So, once you get in there like that, open up this bad boy right here. So, the reason why they make this tool specifically for this job is because it has this bearing on the back and this will spin, which will keep it from essentially stripping the stud out. Um, if you're careful enough, like I said, you can use a um, axle nut, but if you wanna do it right, I would just go ahead and get this tool. We're gonna get this bad boy on right here. Um, if you want, for added security, you could put some washers on the back, but I think this tool is gonna do um, what it's meant to do. So we're just gonna thread this bad boy on right here. You know what I'm saying? Three days later. Oh, you are gonna wanna make sure that it's an open-ended uh, lug nut, especially with these extended lugs. And basically what we're trying to do is get the end of this lug stud flush on the back end. And that's what we want. A couple tappy taps, and you can see that there's no gap in between the end of the stud and the hub. And that's what we want. Now, we could just zip this bad boy off. Let me see. Zip this bad boy off. And now we have an extended lug nut installed and you can see the difference in the length i said about a half an inch inch or so inch or a half inch something like that it's noticeably longer for sure but uh yeah so now 
we'll get the other four um we'll get these three knocked out and get the next uh three put in and then we'll do the other side and yeah that'll be it All right, so there you have it. Whew, it wasn't that bad actually. I mean, I'm taking my time because I'm recording it, but if I wasn't recording, I'd probably say each side would should take about roughly 20 minutes, 20, 30 minutes. Probably about an hour, maybe hour, hour and a half worth of work. But new extended lugs are on. Um, I'm not gonna bother showing you the other side because obviously it'll be the same, but I do want to test fit the slicks on here real quick so give me a second oh yeah yes sir I may need some different lug nuts. I mean, it works, but I think I'm supposed to run some special flat ones with like a, that's what it looks like it was on there before. I'll look into it, but. Ooh. Ooh wee. Just for the sake of argument. Sheesh. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited. These do look a little small, but I'm I'm assuming it's because no no they're big they're big. It's just because it's up off the ground. Oh my lord! Oh lord! Yeah, that's wet. That is wet. I ain't gonna hold you. Whatever well, you have it. That's how you install a broken or extended lug nut stud. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I can't wait to hit the track, man. Cannot wait. I may, like I said, I may have to get some different um, lug nuts because it looks like the ones that you're supposed to run are more like a flat. Um, I don't even know what they're called. Almost like the like it has a washer built into the lug nut. That's what it looks like it's supposed to have. So I may look into that. But other than that, man, whew, it, it looks good, man. I, I really, yeah, I, I do want to see it. Oh my goodness, I do want to see it on the ground. But for some reason, this tire flats. So I don't want to let it on the ground right now. But, hey, that's how you do it, man. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something. If you did, like it. And if you're feeling frosty, you know what I'm saying, hit that share button. But otherwise, if you're new to the channel, you see that right there? That's the subscribe button. Go ahead and hit that, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Playmakers. Okay. All the marvelous, kind of the spinning, man at the coupe, mama no tennis, chop out the top, hit it the limit, I got some